guys. Welcome, welcome. I may or may not have undecorated this so I could decorate it during the beginning part. True story. I was cheating. Um, we have a quote from the Dalai Lama that I, if you guys want to get to know Danny, this quote sums up Danny like perfectly. Okay? So here you go. Choose to be optimistic. It feels better. Let's get started. We are live. Who is ready for some DIYs? I may be overfilled a couple of them. We want you to become empowered to know what you're purchasing because you know that's only going to help you be able to help your family. Welcome back, you guys. Okay, seriously though, that quote like just sums up Danny's attitude perfectly. And in fact, I was talking to Jacob downstairs a few minutes ago. He's an employee here at Plant Therapy. And um, we were talking about something and I was telling him that sometimes, you know, when I'm complaining, I like try to get Danny on my level and he just like pulls me up every time, you guys. So it's Danny perfectly. This is the Danny show. It's the Danny show today. I'm gonna refresh this so I actually can see comments. Um, so today is Feel Good Friday and it is day 12 of Plant Therapy's 25 days of Christmas. You guys, we are almost halfway. I mean, by the end of the today, we will be halfway through our 25 days of Christmas. That's insane, isn't that it? That is crazy. Yeah. We have a feel good show, a fun packed feel good show for you today. But before we start all of this fun stuff and after I drink my hot, chocolate oh it's gonna be hot it feels really hot yeah be careful do mm -hmm. not burn yourself it's really hot um we're gonna see who's joining us today <laughs> tyler is on here he said danny is a good guy tyler i haven't even seen you yet i don't even know what's happening um let's see who's joining us <laughs> nina says danny always has such a great attitude he does <laughs> oh goodness this is the danny show we have lauren from pennsylvania I love the quote too, Judy. I thought it was a great one. We have Trisha from Maine. Just found some cute socks to make my gnome. So I was telling them before the show, you guys, we have already seen, you guys have already sent in and, uh, and shared so many of your gnomes that you've made with us and we love it. So keep sending them in. If you made one of the gnomes, send it in because we love seeing those pictures. We have Katie from Wisconsin. Lanny, I believe that's an in from Chicago. Um, Amanda is sick. Sick me is here. Amanda, what's wrong? We hope you get feeling better. Hopefully it's not like strep or the flu or something. Hopefully it's just like a little cold or something. Ugh. Um, Natalie from California. We have, Amanda says she also loves the quote. I know, it's such a good one. Judy from California. We have Melissa from Nampa, Idaho. We have Rick from Colorado, Kim from Iowa, Jen from Pennsylvania. We have Kathy, I believe that says from South Dakota, Tiffany from Ohio. Who do we have on Instagram joining us? This morning we have TK Mom of Three says good morning from British Columbia. Good morning. Cozy Reads and Sweets, good morning from Long Beach, California. Good morning. Bisbee 88 says hi from Phoenix. Lovedale Junior 88, Colorado here. Welcome. Uh, my four Bs says Danny is PT's brave sunshine. Oh, Danny. Man, I am getting way more credit than I deserve because my mom came up with the quote. <laughs> I know, the quote just fits you so well. Like Danny just chooses to be optimistic all the time. All the time, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> all the time. And Tasha Asman says, hi from Malaysia. Oh, welcome. Ooh, we have Lungji Juliet says, hi from Hong Kong. Welcome. And Cheryl Slay says, hi from Illinois. Welcome, 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 you guys. We have so many people, Tabby from Florida, Brooke, Brooke from Ohio. I've seen a ton of Ohio on here today. I think Ohio might be it. I haven't named all of them, but I've seen a ton. Um, what was, Shauna says, what was the mystery gift from Wednesday? The mystery gift was the colorful set of roll-on bottles and spray bottles. It comes with two roll-on bottles and two spray bottles. Um, they're glass. Did you want to show them? Sure, we can show them. And they're, they're just really pretty. <laughs> Shanna says PT is all sun, sun, sunshine. Woo, can't say that. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Rita. <laughs> 
Um, well, welcome, welcome to our Feel Good Friday, you guys. Thank you for telling us where you're joining us from, and um, and thank you for joining us. Even if you didn't tell us where you're joining us from, thank you for joining us. We'd love to have you. Ohio, Ohio. I see so <laughs> many Ohios. Oh, <laughs> Jerry. Here. She is not coming on this set, you guys. We can't force her. Yep, this is, these are them right here. <laughs> The ones on the outside are the spray bottle, and these ones are the roll-ons. And they're glass. They're really pretty. Pretty fun. And they come in this cute little box, too. Just packaged up really nice. Okay, so today we have a fun little craft for you, a feel-good craft. Um, and then we're also going to talk about day 12 of Plant Therapy's 25 Days of Christmas. So today you can receive a free winter playland set with the purchase of $75 or more. So right now is a fantastic time to purchase your essential oil related gifts. If you have things that you wanna get for someone that you can purchase at Plant Therapy, a gift, purchase them now and get yourself a free Winter Playland Kids Safe set. Today's the best day. Coupon code is COZY12, COZY12. Um, is how you're going to get the, this, um, the free winter playland set. Any questions about that? Um, I really like that set. I hope it becomes a regular product for sale. Are we talking about this one? Because it won't. Or are we talking about this? You're probably talking about this because I saw a ton of people ask for these to become a regular product. Um, Retha, what is your favorite winter playland blend? I can only afford to order one and I want your input before I do. Oh. Danny and I disagree. Oh, I have my favorite. Oh. Yeah. Danny and I disagree. Danny's yeah. is Holly Berries. Mine is the Frosted Mint, but I also have Christmas tree and maybe the spiced apple or spiced whatever that one's called. The apple pie. I don't remember. What's the name of it? Uh, Spice. That one right now is going in my house, but I'm about ready to switch it out for the Frosted Mint. So if I had to choose one, I would choose the Frosted Mint. So I love the Christmas tree, um, but I don't love diffusing Christmas tree all day every day. I like little spouts of a Christmas tree scent, but I can diffuse Frosted Mint all day every day. Um, so if I had to choose one, it would be Frosted Mint, but Danny would choose Holly Berries. I'm making it hard, aren't I? That's because I almost want to lick it. <laughs> Don't it's lick like, it. I, it, and it's it funny is it really good. It doesn't smell like food. It just, I don't know. It's just so good. Yeah. I, if, I'd like to roll around in it. <laughs> Let me tell you the ingredients. Oh, this is going to be hard. Orange blood, Douglas fir, and patchouli, and eucalyptus divies is holly berries. Which is crazy. I don't like eucalyptus very much at all. Well, eucalyptus divies is quite a bit different because it's not, it doesn't, it's kid safe because it doesn't have as much cineol. So you're not getting that kind of medicinal cineol that you get with normal eucalyptus. So that's probably why. Because the scent's quite a bit different because of that. Um, and then the ingredients for the frosted mint are fir needle, spearmint, cardamom, cedarwood, virginia, and tea tree. No wonder you like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so if you're a good, if you're a mint fan, I would do the frosted mint for sure, hands down. Um, but I don't know. They they really are both wonderful. I just, if I had to choose one, it would be frosted mint. Should should we give away something to a PT friend? Uh, one of let's oh, give sure. a frosted mint to a PT friend. Okay, we have a couple of free PT friends right here. They were picked out for me because the PT wall's way over there, or the PT friend's wall's way over there. Um, I'm gonna scroll down so I can see the current comments. Uh, Kamika says, I love them both. That is a hard decision. It is a hard decision. Okay, so this one is from Nora, and it, she, it's Myrtle Beach. <laughs> She said, yes, the beach here is beautiful. Thank you for rubbing it in all of, all of our faces, Mer I'm Nora. We're going to start calling you Myrtle. Mer I know, that's what I almost said. I almost <laughs> called you Myrtle. Um, oh, that's kind. I'm not going to. Okay, I'll read it. Just want you to know how much I look forward to and enjoy your weekly live videos. That's sweet. So, Nora Myrtle, Myrtle Nora, 
That's what I should call you, Myrtle Nora. If you are on, thank you for sending in this gorgeous photo of this beach here. Wonderful, South Carolina. I watch sometimes like that, that beach hunter's property or whatever, and there are almost all of them are in South Carolina. <laughs> Apparently it's a great place to live. Um, so, Mer uh, not Myrtle, goodness, Nora, if you are on email or as soon as you see this live, email cs at planttherapy.com and we are going to get, what are we giving her? Uh, frosted mint. Frosted mint, because that's my favorite. We're going to send you a frosted mint holiday season blend, holiday blend. And then this one is from Carol Nye. Oh, Carol Nye has been a long, long time customer. She said, Risa, Danny, and Paul, hello from Wisconsin. I don't even know what the town's called. Can kiss Kewaskum? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. This postcard is for your mailboard. Um, she says it's from her hometown. Oh, wait. What? Oh, she couldn't didn't have one from her hometown, and so she is a huge Garfield fan. Oh, and that's a huge Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> one long distance hug. That's super sweet. So just, Carol, if you're on. Email cs at planttherapy.com and we will get a frosted mint. And and hold that one up one more time. Now, that's how Retha hugs. She actually has very long arms. <laughs> With that face too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sending those in. So I have some people saying, I'm new here to your live videos. What are we talking about? So we have a PT friends wall. Um, it's on the other side of our, our set here. Danny's gonna see, it's dark over there, but he'll see if he can get it. Um, but what we do is we ask our customers to send in a postcard or they can simply take a picture or send us a picture from their hometown um, and email it to us and then we can print it off and they one per yeah, you, um, you can send it. multiple pictures but you only get one entry per custom for per customer um, so we'll print them all or print them off or we'll post the postcard up on our PT friends wall and then during our live show sometimes um, we decide to do a giveaway to someone that whose pictures on the PT friends wall so send them in you can email them to cs at planttherapy.com or you can mail an actual physical postcard whatever is easiest for you um, the frosted mint and holly berries are both kids safe yep Yep, this whole set. So Christmas tree, frosted mint, and holly berries, all of them are kids safe. It's the kids safe holiday set. Michelle said you pronounce uh -oh. kiwaskum, kiwaskum. Kiwaskum. Okay, that's how you pronounce kiwaskum, kiwaskum. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> um, okay, who is ready for a little DIY here? Oh, Jody says she just got bad news that her mom is in the hospital. Jody, my sweet little one-year-old niece has been in the hospital. It has to be for a couple of days, and that's awful. So let's send Jody something. Jody, does your mom have a favorite oil? Or let's have a communication with Jody. See what we can send her to make her mom feel better. It's Jody. Did you guys see that, Danny? Did you see it? I didn't. Uh oh, <clears throat> I scrolled away from it, so I didn't get her last name. Jody, comment again. It, are, is she on Facebook or YouTube? Oh, Jody Hodges. She's Facebook. Okay, Jody Hodges on Jody, Facebook. Jody Hodges. Let us know if your mom has a favorite oil, and we will send you something so that you can share with her to make her feel better. I hope she gets out of the hospital and is feeling better soon. And, and we'll try to look for your comment during the show, but we may miss it. So email cs at planttherapy.com if we miss that. Oh, there she is. My mom doesn't use oils yet. Okay, so what's your favorite oil? And we'll give you something to feel better. You can just email CS, tell them that we are sending you your favorite oil so that you feel better. Um, okay, so we have a couple fun DIYs for you today. Um, we have our, our paint therapy, our Kids Safe Paint Therapy set, which is available on the website. It um, comes with the, a paint set. It comes with the Winter Playland um, holiday blend set and it also comes with these um, Christmas tree ornaments which are really fun for your kids to paint and I brought it home and my kids had a blast painting them we also had some um, wreaths left over from last year that they also painted and they're hanging all over our tree so um, so we're gonna do that we're gonna paint those in a minute I'm a horrible artist but we're gonna do it anyways and then we also have these cute little felt um, 
ornaments for you that you can put a set your um, essential oils so if you have especially if you have a fake tree or if you've had a tree for a few weeks and the scent starting to go away because it's starting to die um, you can use these little felt ornaments and drop some Christmas tree on it so that when you walk by the Christmas tree or you're sitting near the Christmas tree it smells like a Christmas tree um, but I don't you know I don't want the whole smell of a Christmas tree throughout my whole entire house but I love like going up to a Christmas tree and smelling that smelling that scent um, so that's what I would I personally would recommend for myself is scenting ornaments so that your tree smells really Christmas tree esque um, and then I would diffuse frosted mint throughout the rest of my house <laughs> that's what I would do um, so we're gonna show you what we did with these ones is we just bought these pre-made felt whatever these pre-made felt things I don't know and um, glued them onto a clothes pin so that's what we have here um, and how cute are these little mittens and then there's this little reindeer oh my goodness I don't know what one's my favorite I cut that. you cut this one? Oh gosh I swear she should do these not me and then this did you cut this one too okay good <laughs> and then there's a Christmas tree um, with all the little ornaments on it so super cute Michelle said, that's me, Rita. I don't want the whole house to smell like Christmas tree. No, but I do love a good Christmas tree smell when you're like sitting by the Christmas tree or when we were going and picking out our Christmas tree just at like, you know, where they, you know, just like a Christmas tree stand. Um, my kids were looking over and the guy comes and he was like, ah, don't buy those ones. Those didn't have our tags on. We don't know why they cut them down. They're no good. Like come over here to our good trees. And we walked over there and I was just like, oh, it smells so good. Cause the other ones had like no scent at all. And then the one, so we got one that smelled oh, so wonderful. It It'd delicious. be funny if they weren't Christmas trees at all. They were yeah. like bushes. <laughs> I mean, they look like Christmas trees, oh, but okay. they didn't smell good. <laughs> Um, where did we get these felt, these pre-cut felt? Michael's. At Michael's. So there probably most Michaels. any craft, yeah, <laughs> most any craft stores. Um, I'm sure you could get something like that, or even probably Amazon, just like a felt kit or something. I'm sure you could get a Christmas felt kit. And if you're lazy like me, just take a clothespin and your toilet paper roll. And no, don't, paper don't roll. do it. Don't do it. You do not have my permission. <laughs> don't do it. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, and I failed miserably. Like that? Am I doing it wrong? I don't think no. you're doing bad. You don't do anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that's not true. So I'm going to cut out a tree from this felt right here. Dragonfly is asking, do you have an oil for the after 25 days of Christmas depression. <laughs> <laughs> we have like 200 and some oils for that. <laughs> yeah, tune it. that's actually a great plug for Monday's show. Good job, Jerry, who knows what's going on on Monday. Because I don't. Hey, look it, that's, wait, let me fix it and then I'll tell you it's not that bad. Look it, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Thank you. I love the support over there. And then maybe you could even glue these ones together and have yourself a second tree. <laughs> um, okay, should I put some little ornaments on it? Can we win a paint therapy set? Yes, you can, Carla. Send Carla Yoder a, plant, a paint therapy set. She's on YouTube. Carla Yoder, email cs at planttherapy.com, but we have you written down that you are going to get a paint therapy set. And guys, you know what? Um, if you have already purchased this, I had already purchased the oils, and so I just gifted the the three oils because um, I really wanted the paint and the ornaments. So that's an option too. Like it's the time of year to do that. So if you already have this and you think, oh, I would love, you know, the ornaments and a paint set, like do that. Just gift it. Yeah, and guess already... who she gifted it to? I don't know. Who was to it? I don't me. remember. I was oh. so... <laughs> So Danny was just saying that he hadn't bought holly berries yet. So I was like, okay, I'll take I care of that. I was so excited. <laughs> I don't want to open it. That's how much I love it. Danny! <laughs> I know. <laughs> and guys, our glue froze, and so we don't have any glue today. <laughs> Oops. Let's do I'm just going to do a couple more of these. 
<laughs> that one's a little big. <laughs> We're gonna cut it down a little bit. I would try to cut out a star, but that just looks really hard. Okay, let's do a couple red ones. Ooh, the red one would be a really cute mitten too. Or a bloody stump. <laughs> Ooh, gross. Danny. He said that. <laughs> well, I'm cutting out a mitten, you guys. Oh, good job. Whoopsies. Got a little cray cray right there. My Give wife. or take. <laughs> it's pretty cute though, right? There's a mitten too. A little felt. Mitten. Good. Thank you, Trisha. Everyone telling me good job. That's because they've, um, they've seen my past abilities and that almost looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so that's definitely an improvement. One more red one and then I'm going to be done cutting this in silence. <laughs> TLVM and stuff says, I'm almost convinced to get holly berries since Danny is raving so much. He loves it. It's his favorite, you guys. Okay, so give or take, this is what my Christmas tree would look like. I would probably put more ornaments on it, but still. See? And then you just glue. I mean, we're, we're using um, these clothes pins, but you really could probably like punch a hole in it, cut a hole in the felt and tie ribbon to it and just hang it. Um, really just whatever you guys have and is easiest for you. And then just drop like one to two drops of essential oils. Like I said, the Christmas tree, if you want your tree to smell more Christmas tree is isk 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 wusk. I don't know what I'm saying. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so asking again, do you think the EOs would mess with the paint on the ornament? So what I do is I just paint the front and I put the EOs on the back. That's yeah. what I would do. Are you going to paint one? Yeah, I'm going to paint one. But I'm going to answer some questions really fast first. Um, let me know if there's any other questions or comments. Uh, Grammy of three is wondering, how do I know if I posted my wish list on Facebook correctly? That's a good question. <laughs> you might get picked. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't get picked, you may not. Um, you picked. should be able to go to your Facebook page and it should show it as something you shared. And if it's not there, then it most likely did not post correctly. Um, let's see. Sounds yummy. Nick MB is asking holly berries or wood spice, which is better? Ooh, that's a tough one <laughs> <clears throat> for me. Wood spice, it depends on my mood. Wood spice is a really good, like, just, hmm. Just like manly scent when yeah, they're like... so different <laughs> to, oh, so wood spice is calming to me where holly berries wakes me up a bit and it, it's it's calming still but it just um yeah it kind of has more wake me up -y. a bit more bright and vibrant yeah, it's a bit more bright yeah where where wood spice is like it's kind of nice to sit and read a book too that sounds very manly I can just picture like all those men out there. <laughs> I'm serious though, you know, like coming home after a long day's work, sitting under the fireplace reading the book. I wasn't kidding either. I know that sounded like I was joking, but I wasn't. Angie, that's me, is asking, do all the Christmas oils have therapeutic properties as well? Yeah, they absolutely would. So they were formulated um, for scent purposes, but you know, you can check out the oils. If you go to planttherapy.com forward slash downloads, um, you can pull up our downloads chart or um, that page and it will have like, um, um, like the constituent chart and um, it has like a sub the substitution chart, which will tell you um, like what kind of the main therapeutic benefits are of some of the single oils. And you can compare that to the oils that are in the holiday blends um, and kind of figure out, or email our aromatherapist at aromatherapist at planttherapy.com. You can do it the hard way or the easy way. Um, I see a question, or Sarah says, my husband is a truck driver and is heading to Idaho. I wonder if he can fit his truck in the parking lot so he can go to PT. The answer is yes. Totally. So we are at like this huge warehouse that has a huge parking lot. So he absolutely could if you want, if he really wanted to come. 
Um, fact, if he calls in advance, we'll uh, make sure and make it work. Yeah, we'll dance for him or something. Wait, what? Yeah, read the will. Danny, no, no. Danny's very confused. Guys, I'm just going to paint for a minute. Danny, do you want to look at questions and I can answer them while I'm painting? Sure. <laughs> Let's see here. Any questions? Is Wood Spice uh, kid safe? Um, I don't believe so. Is there a so. Wood Spice there, Mom? I don't think so because yeah. it has the yin and yang in it. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, not. Yeah. Okay. It probably would be. I would have to know what's in it to know if it's kid safe to diffuse. Ahamp01 is asking, are the little white ornaments made of plaster? What are they made out of? Um, Cling them together. Polymer the, clay. Polymer there you go. clay. My mom said polymer clay. And if she's wrong, it's her fault. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, Jerry. TJ Barnaby, I want to smell the frosted mint, but I can't open my curtain. What's the magic way of opening it without tearing the box apart? Yeah, you're going to have yeah. to tear the box apart. <laughs> it is tough. We have fixed sleeves, um, but the sleeves on the first one that we ordered are just too tight, and we sincerely apologize for that. They're beautiful, um, but most of them are too tight. So you'll probably have to rip the sleeve, but the box won't rip. Just um, if you can't get the sleeve out you, or the box out of the sleeve, you might just have to rip the sleeve, the, but the box will still be still be good and if you really love this sleeve um let us know and we'll see what we can do if you had to rip it or something uh tiffany parker on youtube said diffusing christmas tree and vanilla together smells oh. amazing i've seen lots of people diffusing christmas trees with other of the other holiday blends um probably like to sweeten it up a bit there was one person who suggested christmas tree with zombie blood it was very Ooh. good that i don't know if that that's like See, to me, that crazy. would... Crazy. That's cray-cray. No, to me, that would probably smell a little bit more like hollyberry. Mm. Uh, hollyberry has that that smell of like a mix of... Yummy. Boston said that's like the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Will there be a sale on paint therapy? Will we ever sell those? That's a good question. Um, like, will they be on sale? Yeah, will they ever be a regular? They won't be a regular. Um, they're definitely just for this holiday, just a little bundle we put together. Um, they won't be a regular addition to our to our stuff, though. Janice asked if uh, clove is strong in wood spice. So Janice, um, to, I, oh, man, that's a good question. I, when I smell wood spice, it smells like I just went to the garage and cut a um, piece of pine. Yeah. I mean, like. it smells like fresh cut wood. <laughs> Mom went to uh, smell our wood spice and it's fake. It's our, our bottle, empty bottle of wood spice we use for pictures. It's the prop one. <laughs> <coughs> Guys, I'm just painting over here. Ironically, Stephanie uh, on Facebook said Danny's mom is never wrong. Retha, right after she just... <laughs> Um, Ashley Jones on YouTube wants to know, how effective is the grapefruit to curb a five-year-old's appetite? Um, that's a good question. I mean, you'd have to try and tell us. I don't know. I've, I've never tried for a young child. Um, I will say that when you are using essential oils to help curb, um, curb, curb, curb an appetite. <laughs> I know I was saying it or wrong. curve it. <laughs> I know I was it. saying it wrong, okay? Um, <laughs> if When you're using essential oils for any age, I've never tried on a child um, to help curb an appetite, then you want to make sure that you are full because what the essential oils do is, is um, when, you're, when you're full um, and you want to go snack more, the essential oils will kind of give you that satisfaction um, from the aroma of, of you know the food and, and different things like that, like a grapefruit or our munchie stop, which was created for that. Um, they kind of give you that satisfaction of not needing to go snack and do extra. But if you're hungry, then it's possible that it will make you hungry. So you need to make sure that you've eaten, you've had lunch or dinner or whatever, and then it's to help you not want to snack more. But we don't want it to be used um, like, oh, I'm hungry, I'm gonna smell that. It's not gonna work like that. Um, so just kind of as a, as a little note on that. Um, Melanie 
on Facebook said, do you have any oils that would smell like a campfire or a fireplace? Maybe even vetiver. marshmallows roasting over the fire. Maybe vetiver and vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I really like Buddha wood. To me, it smells oh, almost yeah. like a, yeah, um, kind of a camp. Yeah, yeah. It smells good. Any other questions? <laughs> uh, what's the best way to diffuse vanilla? It's a thick oil. Yeah, you have to be careful with some diffusers. Um, because it can ruin some diffusers, honestly. Okay, guys, I'm done. Okay, let's get a close-up of this uh, <laughs> masterpiece. Ta-da! Ooh. That took me way too long, I have to admit. But it's pretty and shiny. It's because it's still wet. <laughs> Very Cedarwood, nice. Texas, mixed with vetiver. I saw someone say. Yeah, those are all kind of campy smelling. Do we, do we sell zombies blood, or is every out? Of no, zombies? it was just a limited time. Yeah, if you miss zombies blood, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Bisbee eighty eight is asking, what's good to diffuse with coffee? Um, everything. Peppermint, vanilla, um orange what are some other things that we've done with coffee yeah I mean, I mean you said vanilla peppermint orange like any spices cinnamons cloves cardamom any spices Holly are fantastic berries. with coffee. <laughs> basically anything <laughs> anything you can christmas tree because apparently i mean not meant purposely trying to give a shout out to starbucks but apparently they have like this this fur Starbucks or something that everyone's like, oh, I don't know, but apparently it's like a really like piney taste to it. So apparently Christmas tree and coffee works really well together. I don't know if you guys have tried it, let us know. That sounds really gross. <laughs> yeah. Christmas oh, oh yeah. Christmas Carol, let's do another giveaway guys. And then I'm gonna let you go because I've just been painting here, so. <laughs> I thought uh, mom was saying, use Christmas Carol <laughs> blend. I was like, we don't have one of those. Hmm. I won't be able to sing this one. I That's know okay. it, but. We have Boston here. <laughs> Boston and Katrina. Is that the part? Okay. <laughs> on Mary's lap is sleeping. Is that the right part? No? I tried. Okay, <laughs> it's on Mary's lap is sleeping. Okay, that's the right song though. I just not the right part. <laughs> All right. Is that even kind of close? You started with the one carol and you ended with a different carol. No. That's the line for the carol. No, that's the right carol. Well. Mm -hmm. Lay to rest on. on See, I did it right. I did it right. I just wanted to get your dander up. <laughs> <laughs> and who said Jerry was always right? She's right 99.9% .9 of the time, but this was the one person, that, or the point one percent that she was not. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure nobody forgets it, Jerry. <laughs> time's up. Our time's up. They're like, yes. what was the song? <laughs> Did Reese actually <laughs> sing? Oh my, just get what is given? I got a mosquito. Guys, I have a little First secret. First of all, did you hear this language she was just speaking? <laughs> I think it was <laughs> German. No, I got that from my mom. I'm not lying. Whenever she got mad, she would just like start saying things that weren't actually words. That's what my wife does also. They're so oh. they and so I go like, same noise. when I'm really mad at my children, I'll be like, oh, get a minute, get a minute, get a minute, get a minute, get a minute. Like, that's totally what I did. True, true story. So my kids do that sometimes. <laughs> and apparently when I'm scared. Christopher so, Jones, you just hi. freaks me out. He hasn't been here either today yet. I haven't seen him this morning. Um, my wife or Amanda asked me, well, same person, but anyway, Amanda <laughs> asked me to... <laughs> Um, find some of our old socks to give to a neighbor who isn't feeling well. So I found some, but I had another pair. Ooh! I thought I better at least come give it away, right? Should we throw a gift card in there? Like a random gift card? Random size? 
well, you know what I'm saying, amount. Do we have printed gift cards that we can throw in? Yep. Okay. All right, let's do it. You know, Instagram hasn't won anything yet today. Oh, oh. I think it's definitely should be on Instagram. Instagram, <laughs> way to, like, Katrina, way to shop for that. Mm-hmm. Let's let's tell the winner of, um. What so the think? correct answer is. That looks really disgusting. You know, I don't know. It's not bad, though. I think that one's white chocolate. It looks like um, milky water. What, what flavor was it, Mom? <laughs> you melted cinnamon stick in water. You melted cinnamon stick in it? Oh, yeah. Is it actually hot it chocolate? Yeah. Oh, I was like, it it's tastes like, chocolate. yeah, it's delicious. Um, who's the winner? So the correct answer was, what child is this? Do we have a winner? Because I can't really um, see. Can, uh, let's go and find out. You can't see that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it just wasn't there, that's why. Hey, Jesse. I'm, oh, okay, I'm going to put this camera down. I think I can. Hey, Chris, why don't you sit on that couch next to Rita? She don't well, bite. I wasn't going to so we have a winner for what child is this it's misty cooper on youtube misty cooper on youtube is the winner congratulations is the winner of um guessing what child is this correctly so misty cooper email cs at planttherapy.com and we are going to send you a paint therapy set is that okay hopefully absolutely so that's what i just said now, and the paint therapy set actually comes with the winter play life. Is that right? Yes, it does. Yeah. It comes with the paint, the Christmas tree ornaments, and the winter playland set. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Those are cute cards. Okay. Yeah, cute cards. So we're huh? giving socks away and a gift card to Instagram. Should I? Here, I'll yeah, come, come up here, Chris. Go to Instagram and pick a random one. All right. How about Ash Flow 14? There you go, Ashflow14. A-S-H-F-L-O-14. That sounds like Ashflow to me. Go. Do you guys see Chris's sweater, too? They're going to freak out. They love sweaters. Yeah, I think there's around. a logo oh, it, right here. And on the, on the back is the leaf. Can you guys see that? Okay, yeah, Ashflow14. <laughs> We're going to send you this. those socks and just um, go to the retail store, and they can just choose one of the gift cards there. Good, and then I'll give it to Ashley. Okay. All right. There Cheers. you go. Easy peasy pudding and pie. Um, who's ready for, are you laughing at me? Yeah, it reminded me of Heidi saying it's oopsie poopsie <laughs> and then a pudding and pie. <laughs> I just. <laughs> mm. Oh, what about Facebook? Chloe Hawks, what about Facebook? I don't know. We had a YouTube winner. We did, I did give random things away to Facebook though. I wanted Chris's hoodie. I know, it's super soft to you guys actually. I want a Chris's hoodie. I know, that was given to him, so I don't think he's willing to give it away. It was a present to him. <laughs> well, there's three of us and one of him. Just <laughs> so we'll cut it in multiple pieces. <laughs> what is pudding and pie like? Not the actual saying. I'm getting laughed at over here. Who's ready for a giveaway? We are going to give away. I'm going to find another pair of socks because apparently a lot of you want some socks. So um, you have until 5 p.m. Mountain Time to answer this giveaway question in the comment section of the live video to be entered into the giveaway. And the winner will win a pair of Plant Therapy socks. I know at least the Meridian store has um, some of the pairs from last year. So we'll get you a pair, we'll find one for sure. We'll give you a pair of the socks and the Winter Playland set. Um, So your giveaway question is, what things do you wish you could do as an adult that you did as a child? Hmm. Ooh, that's a good one. Hmm. <laughs> I'm embarrassed about the first one I thought of. What was it? Uh, Are you going to say go potty in a diaper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say mess my pants, <laughs> which is horrible. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, there's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, sleep and not pay taxes. <laughs> sleep all night. Oh. Roller coasters. Pete, why can't you do roller coasters? I love roller coasters. Nap time. I I wish. I think I would want to be carried around all day. Yeah, like like one my, of my four year old. One of my I'm favorite like, things. Oh, fine. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Ryan, that's my husband. Will you just carry me all day long? <laughs> I Everywhere loved, we go. I loved falling asleep in the car when we were coming home late from somewhere, and my dad would. Falls asleep in the car. 
<laughs> and I'm driving. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hope not. But falling asleep, and then my dad would carry me to bed. I loved mm. that. I'd pretend like I was asleep. Jamie's is perfect. Get the entire Christmas season off to watch Christmas movies in my pajamas. My husband gets that because he's a vice principal. So you can either be a child or you can be a teacher. <laughs> there you go. And you can have the Christmas season off at least two full weeks. It's pretty amazing. And it makes me especially jealous when I'm working and he's off with the kids during Christmas. It really does. Um, okay, so this is gonna be fun to read through those. I'm super excited. Um, don't forget today, day 12 of Plant Therapy's 25 Days of Christmas is a free winter playland set with the purchase of $75 or more using coupon code COZY12. And if you haven't gotten the coupon code whatever yet, come on guys, just kidding. <laughs> Um, and then don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love it when you share the videos if you found them helpful or just purely entertaining um, or just silly enough that you want to share. You know, there's things like that on YouTube that, you know, it's so ridiculous you just have to share it. That's okay if that's our videos here. And on Monday, we are going to be tackling the wintertime blues. So I know that a lot of people... Um, struggle with that so make sure to join on Monday if, if that's you or if you know someone who struggles and we'll give you some tips and tricks to help with that um, don't forget to enter the giveaway to possibly win um, socks from last year and a winter playland set and that's it guys have an amazing Friday an amazing weekend it's plant therapies um, Christmas, Christmas party. party tomorrow so I'm sure you'll be seeing pictures um, from that on social media this coming week so have an amazing weekend and we'll see you back on Monday. Bye guys.